afternoon. My name is Aaron Brown. I'm the Director of School Partnerships for Clintondale Virtual Academy. And I'd like to welcome you to the commencement exercises for the graduating class of 2019. At this time, I would like to ask you to remain standing as we play our national anthem and James Weldon Johnson lift every voice and sing. Can be seated. Once again, good afternoon and welcome to our commencement exercises for the class of 2019. At this time, I'd like to welcome Mr. Greg Green. Please give a round of applause. Our superintendent of Clinton Community School. APS owner, Mr. Howard Weaver. our family and friends, staff, and well, all of us, our class of 2019. <laughs> Parents, guardians, families, and guests, as a friendly reminder, after the ceremony, you'll have plenty of time to take pictures out in our gazebo area, as well as out in front of the building, uh, so please make sure you use that time. Uh, we will not leave until everyone's taken every picture they want to take. Class of 2019, this graduation ceremony symbolizes all of your hard work coming to fruition, all the challenges you've endured, but 
most importantly, it serves as a beacon of hope for your future, which is new and exciting, that's waiting for you just behind those doors. Your journeys began small, and now you sit here as graduating seniors. Your teachers, your mentors, and coaches had the privilege of working closely with you each day to tell the stories that of your lives unfolding. At this time, I'm asking our staff to rise. Staff, we know you put in countless hours to help these graduates reach this dream. Your dedication to these graduates helped them get here today. And for that, we say thank you. Graduating seniors, you need to know that everything that's happened to you in your past and everything that's happening in your future is all part of your story, which is an integral part that makes you who you are. So, go and tell your stories. Let others relate to your experiences. Let them share in your joy as well as your struggles. Let your story transform your world. Let it deepen your ability to think perceive, and create. Most of you know, you can go to Google and get an answer. You can Google for a mate, and I hope after today you go out there and Google for a career. But you can't Google to find what's in your heart. That's what's going to take you skyward. Senior class, as you move forward in the next chapter of your life, know that as a staff here, we love you, we are very proud of you, and we expect amazing things from you. Congratulations, class of 2019. At this time, please welcome 
Superintendent of Clintondale Community Schools, Mr. Greg Green. Wow! Congratulations, class of 2019. You know, I'm not here to give a lengthy speech today, but I'm here to say congratulations. This is your day. You know, one of the things as being a virtual student, it's not always easy. And so you You've shown the grit and determination and the stamina to stick with it. And those skills will lend well to your next journey. And so I'd like to congratulate all the staff, the teachers, the mentors, the coaches, the parents. It's a definite team effort, ATS, Mr. Weaver, for a wonderful program. We started this program just four years ago, and we already have this many graduates from it. So, it's a, it's a team effort. Congratulations. You know, have a great day. Enjoy, celebrate, and uh, good luck to you. At this time, please welcome ATS owner, Mr. Howard Weaver. Good afternoon. We can do better than that. Good afternoon. Wow. June 7, 2019. June 7, 2019. What a great day in your life. You're going to become a high school graduate within a few minutes. I want to welcome everybody to this ceremony parents, grandparents, children, brothers, sisters, cousins, uh, significant others. We want to thank Superintendent Green and the Board of Education of Clintondale for making this program available so you could be here today. So let's have a round of applause for Clintondale School. We also want to thank the staff, because I'll tell you, virtual learning is different. And it takes a different kind of person to be a staff member. And you have enjoyed, maybe I shouldn't use the word enjoy, because I'm certain at times it wasn't that enjoyable, but you've worked with some of the most caring people that I've ever known. They were and are as concerned about your well-being as I'm certain anybody else in the audience. So would we have a round of applause for the staff members, please? Would the graduates stand up and turn around and face the audience, please? And would the... Now I want the graduates to give the audience a round of applause and thanking them for what they've gone through on your journey. Turn around and be seated in that order, please. That was your final exam. <laughs> so let's all take a deep breath. I can hear it. Take a deep breath because you're not very far from being a high school graduate. Doesn't that have a nice ring to it? You worked to get to this point. You worked and gave up things to become a high school graduate today. You're on a journey. It seems like there's a lot of potholes at times. In your journey through life, there will be more potholes. 
but you've demonstrated by finishing the coursework for your high school diploma that you can overcome. You can drive around those potholes, or you can drive over them and deal with them. You have to be extremely proud of yourself because we are extremely proud of you for what you've accomplished. Being a high school graduate is no small thing. And don't let anyone tell you anything different. Each one of you who have come to us with a different situation. Each one of us have a story. Something happened in your life that you had to detour on that journey. And if you look around in life, you probably saw others who gave up. You didn't give up. You did not give up. You're here today because of your perseverance. Soon you'll be a high school graduate. That brings with it many things. You'll be able to say, I'm a high school graduate. Nice ring to it. You'll be able to apply for jobs where they want, high school graduates. You'll be able to go on to further education because you can get financial aids, assistance to go on to school because you're a high school graduate. And along that line, we're going to give you, each one of you, and we have some adult ed graduates this year, we're going to give everyone today that graduates a $500 scholarship that they can take to any licensed school in any state, and we'll pay to that institution the $500 if you do it within this year. So don't stop now. You made it happen to this point. You got to this point, so why stop? The world is different today than it was when you were born. The communications, and you have made the adjustment. When you get some time and the excitement dies down, Tell those in the crowd that are closest to you and helped you through this journey. I was going to say ordeal, but that wouldn't have been very correct, would it? Helped you through this journey. Thank them, because they gave up things also so you could be here. Get a chance, thank your instructors because they were on this journey with you. But most of all, look in the mirror and thank yourself because you made it happen. You're here today because of what you did, not of the other thing. After today, we'll start a new journey. I know you'll be successful. I know you have dreams, and everything starts with a dream, but you just can't dream. You gotta put action behind it. I want you to know that Clintondale Schools programs are very proud of you, and we wish you all the success in the world. It's yours to take. Congratulations, class of 2019.
graduates, will you please rise? Please welcome Mr. Scott Jacob. Wow, what a great looking audience and set of graduates. Um, I love Mr. S uh, Weaver's speeches. They always make my allergies get going a little bit. I've heard a bunch of them. And they always do it to me. Right now, I'm going to verify you to the school board. Now, we got you all. Remain standing here, please. I verify to you that each graduate that has walk across the stage will met the requirements from the Clintondale Community Schools in the state of Michigan and that they're part of the graduating class of 2019. And upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of the Trustees of the MISD, I confer upon each of you the high school diploma with the rights and privileges and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Please welcome Mrs. Jennifer Nickel, Director of Education, who will be reading names. Graduates will be lined up. Ricardo Arroyo. With honors, Patrick Henry Oakry. Geneva McInnes. Monique Van 
Van Pamel. Tamika Gardner. Jasmine Getz. Shauna Spakuza. Deontay! 
Prescott. Emily Bolson. Cameron Sarcona. Zachary Jacobs. Nishma Fardos. Annabella Bobchik. Kenyatta Garrett. Diva Gooden. Walter Christian Hope Leggio Jason McCarrick At this time, I'll ask that our staff close the doors, please. Staff to the doors, staff to the doors right now, please. Close the doors. Audience, as a reminder, after the ceremony, the graduates will be receiving their diploma, and you'll have plenty of time to take pictures in the gazebo. Uh, before they leave, they also receive a yard sign as well as a graduation bumper sticker. So please make sure they pick it up before they leave today. One last time, please help me welcome Mr. Scott Jacob. All right, this is the best time of the ceremony right here. So, obviously stay standing there, graduates. It's now time for the moving of the tassel. You gotta really get fired up for this, people. Class of 2019. Please move your tassel from right to left, signifying your status as a graduate. Congratulations, 2019. Congratulations class of 2019.